was poppin' sexies. It's your boy here, back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes, and we have a brand new trailer tonight, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. See what they got cooking up for us tonight. As far as predictions go, I have no idea. Oh, a new Ascended Hero right out the gates? Alright. So I guess they figured these Ascended Heroes haven't been up to par lately. Oh, wow. A Ascended Celica? Okay. Alright, very interesting art direction here. She's going to be an infantry colorless tome. So what is this, an Echoes banner? Okay, not too bad. The artwork looks pretty good. Outfit is certainly a lot different than the other Celicas we've seen. So I'll definitely take this over something like Ascended Florina where... I mean, she looks almost exactly identical to her base outfit. But this Celica looks pretty good. Alright, let's see what she can do, though. Okay, Mila's Testament, 14 might and 2 range. Accelerate special trigger. If unit initiates combat or is in two spaces of an ally, grants attack and speed up 6 to unit during combat. Neutralizes effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit. Deals damage equal to 10% of foe's attack. And also, if unit's HP is over 25% and foe would reduce unit's HP to 0, Unit survives with 1 HP. Oh, snap. So, she just has built-in miracle. Okay. It says here, once per combat, does not stack with non-special effects that would allow unit to survive with 1 HP if foe's attack would reduce HP to 0. Basically, you can't use miracle with it to, like, chain survive attacks, basically. Once per combat, though, that's pretty wild, dude. Once per combat with the miracle effect, if you have some way to just recover your health over 25% every time you attack, then... I mean, she's just gonna have Miracle in every round of combat, which is pretty wild to think about. I would guess, like, running Odd or Even Recovery on the team somewhere, so you can just keep on recovering her HP. She nullifies Guard, she has minus one special trigger, attack and speed up six. And she gets 10% bonus damage based on the enemy's attack, so true damage... With Miracle, with Nullify Guard, with minus one special trigger. Pretty solid. Certainly more interesting, I'd say, than Ascended Florina. I, I just... You guys already know. I don't really like that Ascended Florina that much. But not really too difficult to top her. Alright, then we have Moonbow, Life and Death 4, Soul of Zofia. Okay, now we're talking. So, she's got Null Follow-Up and built-in... Um, what you call it? Desperation, both in the B slot, and then infantry null follow three. Okay, what in the world is this? At the start of turn, grants null follow up to infantry allies within two spaces of unit. Okay, that's a very interesting C skill there. So you're granting null follow up the status effect to allies in two spaces. I can't remember if the actual status effect has the same speed check or... Actually, I guess there is no speed check with null follow-up, right? It's just nullify guaranteed follow-up effects and blocking follow-up effects in combat. I don't really know if this is going to be as good as some of the other C skills. Like, if your unit needs null follow-up, odds are you already have it on them. So th this is not really all that necessary. Although it can lead to some pretty crazy antics with Wind Sweep. If you've got a unit with Wind Sweep in the B slot and normally they wouldn't be able to have Null Follow Up, now you can give it to them pretty much. Okay, I really like her attack animation there. Alright, pretty cool. Wait, is it. Okay, new hero. I was about to say, wait, wait a second, is there another Ascended Hero? No, we're getting new heroes now. Okay, of course we were going to get Baby Sis right there. <laughs> I love that title they gave her, Sweet Baby Sis. But now the Valentian White Wing Trio is complete. We have Valentian S tier. It's going to be a Lance Flyer. Pretty good artwork. All right, let's see what S has got. All right, Try Edge Lance. 16 might, 1 range. Enables Kanto Rem plus 1. Rance attack up 3. Unit initiates combat or is in two spaces of an ally. Grants all stats of 5 to unit. Unit deals damage equal to 20% of unit's res and reduces damage from foe's first attack by 40% during combat. <laughs> Seems pretty good to me. All stats of 5, 
bonus damage based on res, 40% DR, cancel rem plus one. Can't really go wrong with all of that. All right, then we have Iceberg, attack and res push four, and then flow, fe oh, okay, a brand new B skill for flyers, presumably. Flow feather three. Unit initiates combat, neutralizes effects that prevent units follow-up attacks during combat. And also, if unit speed is better than foe's speed minus 10, deals damage during combat equal to 70% of the difference between res stats, and reduces damage from foe's attacks by 70% of that difference, <laughs> with a max of 7. So it's basically flow flight from the one that does defense. This one is doing res instead. So flow flight, you do a, a defense check, and then if you win the defense check, you're getting 70% or I, I guess seven raw points of damage reduction and also raw attack. So pretty good. I've, more units are going to have more res, I guess. So you can mix and match if you think flow flight is going to be better on high defense units or flow feather is going to be better on high res units. This is a really good B skill though. The, <laughs> flow flight is such a cheesy B skill. I remember the first time they revealed it before I saw the cap of seven points i thought it was just gonna be the best b skill ever and it still kind of is like raw damage reduction is pretty wild oh is this gray who is this kind of look like gray no actually no this is kamui okay <laughs> why, why did i think this was gray am i stupid all right whatever drawn by suzuki rika by the way the goat who drew the Heldigan. All right, he's going to be a demote. Upfront blade plus start of combat if foe's HP is over 75%. Grants attack and speed of 5 to unit and neutralizes unit's penalties to attack and speed during combat. All right, seems fine. Luna, speed and defense ideal and attack and defense 03. All right, it's nice to get another ideal skill added to the normal pool, except the downside is speed and defense not really one of the better ones. Anything that grants attack is good. So, like, attack and speed, attack and defense, attack and res, those are always good. I don't really know if you want speed and defense, but I guess there it is. Inheritable weapon. Neutralize penalties to attack and speed. Grants attack and speed of five. I guess it's okay. We certainly have better inheritable swords, though. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Wasn't Corin's Japanese name Kamui as well? So, wh why do we have two Kamuis? Oh, wait, what? No, already? So much for the buildup of suspense for her. Okay, so this is Ymir. I, I think that's how you say that, Ymir. She is the life mother. I, I remember... It we thought during the first date of mine that she was actually going to be Air's mommy. <laughs> but then, um, at the end of the Tempest Trial, she says she's actually the ruler of the realm of life. And she's, um, she's the dragon, basically. So, like, how we have Niffle, who's the dragon of her country, and then we have, or, I guess, her realm, rather. And then we have Moosepel, who's the dragon of his realm. Ymir is the dragon of the life realm, so... I don't think she's actually Air's mom, but she could still turn out to be. I, I don't know. It, it's a little bit tricky with this one. But her artwork is fantastic. So it, it's kind of crazy that they drop her out of nowhere on a banner like this. All right. Wow. <laughs> Quite a lot of text going on. Ever living breath, 16 might in one range. Grants attack up three. If a rally skill or a movement assist skill like repo, shove, or pivot is used, by unit or target's unit, restores 10 HP to allies within two spaces of unit and target after movement, then neutralizes any penalty on those allies. Okay, pretty solid. Reposition effects, like, I guess Duo Krom is not really the best example because his giving the minus one special trigger is pretty busted. <laughs> but any effects that trigger off of using movement assists are pretty good. We also saw this on Shigure's Refine, where he can grant 10 HP back to himself and, I believe, the ally that he uses it on. So, pretty good. Includes unit and target, does not stack, even if effect ranges of unit and target overlap. 
At the start of combat, if unit's HP is over 25%, grants all stats up 5 to unit during combat, and unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. If foe's range is 2, gets adaptive damage, right? So she's basically a dragon, she's a green breath, and she's a cavalry type. So I guess all of these ruler dragons of the realms are going to be cavalry dragons. So, I mean, I guess we got to get the cavalry dragons from somewhere, right? So might as well be from these rulers. All right, we have rally up attack plus, attack res unity, attack res near trace. <laughs> Again, one of these like trace skills that's only really beneficial to dragons. Some people brought up, you could give it to, um, what's her face, Patrine as well, because she has adaptive damage on her lance. So I, I guess, but <laughs> mainly it's just these cavalry dragons that are going to eat well off of this. And then her unique C skill, Ever Living Domain. If unit is in two spaces of any allies, grants defense and res up four, and the following effect to unit and those allies during combat. Unit's HP is over 25%, or <laughs> rather, if unit's HP is over 75%, and foe would reduce unit's HP to zero, unit survives with one HP. Dude, what? Once per combat does not stack with non-special effects that allow unit to survive with one HP. Dude, this is dumb. So you freaking grant Miracle to allies in two spaces? That is disgusting, dude. What the hell is this? Okay, that's... That is... That's just unfair. <laughs> that's just plain unfair, man. Like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> Alright, she's basically a must-summon. Yeah, I'm gonna summon on the banner. Let's see what- Oh, dude, her dragon looks really cool. Wow, that's- that's awesome. I- I really like this unit. I liked her artwork from the start, but... I mean, seeing that dragon form now... Alright, there goes Embla and Elm again. I guess they're gonna be part of the story. <laughs> There's, like, fallen Veronica, I guess. Veronica has been taken over by, um... What's her face? By Embla, right? So... There she is right there. All right, here's going to be our Grand Hero Battle Unit. I don't remember who this is. I, I played Echoes. I don't even remember, like, too much about Echoes because I played it one time when it came out, and that was it, basically. So I, I don't even remember who this is, but there he is. Dark-skinned dude with grayish-looking hair, and he's wielding an axe. You guys know who that is. There he is. All right, banner is dropping on the 19th. So basically, tomorrow night at reset, I guess you could say. And then Kamui is going to be the four-star focus as well. Yeah, so do I recommend you guys summon on this banner? Pretty much. I mean, oh. All right, so there's his name, Atlas. Okay. And he's going to be one of those three-star and four-star heroes that shows up, but he's not going to be a focus on the banner. So he's not actually the Grand Hero Battle. That's interesting. So I wonder who the Grand Hero Battle is going to be. I would check my phone to see, but my phone is charging in the other room, so I can't actually, like, get up and go get it. All right, we're getting a Broccoli Florette, of course, if you summon that Celica. Way to release Celica and then just make her a moot point with having Ymir's C skill, right? So... I, I thought it was pretty cool that this Ascended Celica had the Miracle effect. <laughs> but then we have Ymir who has Miracle to everybody, which is just outrageously broken. So, yeah, I, I would recommend if you're going to summon on this banner and you summon up to the Spark and you don't get Ymir, then definitely Spark her because she's crazy. Otherwise, Celica looks pretty good as well. S doesn't seem too shabby, but... Compared to all the other Lance Flyers right now, it's hard to really differentiate yourself right now when all you do is bonus damage, damage reduction, all stats of 5 in Kanto. That's like the standard right now. All the units have to be able to do all of that stuff right now to compete. So, unfortunately for S, she's not doing anything to break the norm. So, I, I would say... it. Definitely summon, definitely spark Ymir, and then if you can, pick up Celica, but she's not really mandatory here. So that's going to wrap us up for this trailer. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of Ymir? 
And this is your boy Tacho signing out. So take care, fellas, and I'll catch y'all again on the flip side. <laughs>